All right. APR sees me. So, good evening, Internet. It is 8.05 p.m. on Saturday, October 10th, 2020. Welcome to Stone of Graves. I'm your host, Mark Amstrak, DJ Amstrak. That's Daniel. Uh, I think Remy is just barely visible on the couch there. And tonight, we are going to be continuing the horror that is Two Point Hospital. Uh, still in the spooky hospital. Sure is ghosts. I'm going to aim to hit three stars tonight and then next week move on to something else so let us begin I saw that field rod in the discord is silly that. nuclear materials don't glow green kids nope what Thank you. Are we <clears> on <throat> full screen or are we? What? No, we're we're in game mode okay. right now. Uh, I've the tarot cards say Trump is going to lose. Uh, death card, big transformation coming. And there he is laying dead underneath death. And there's much rejoicing among the people. They're very happy. Healing. Light emerging out of the darkness with the star. And Kamala Harris is going to play a very important role and may, in fact, ascend to the presidency. But you know, either way, Trump's going down. Uh, what's signifying Kamala Harris? The priestess? The Queen, the of, Queen of Wands. I am not singing that song. <laughs> what the. Reminded of me. V Reminded Vagina of me. Dentata? Yep. What a wonderful phrase. <laughs> And craze. It means no wiener for the rest of your <laughs> days. I said I was no, I'm going to. <laughs> it's a penis free. Those asking to speak Girl with the administrator. Cavity. It's complicated. Vagina dentata. <laughs> Yeah, this will only take curing 600 patients. That should totally be doable tonight. Especially considering we're already up to 36, 38, 40. Yeah. 
think I might need another pharmacy. Another P pharmacy. Honestly, you can afford to build, like, everything right now. <laughs> You're sitting out there going. Oh, I can afford to, absolutely. It's <laughs> it's just, still, if... if I don't want to build a room if I'm never going to use it, you know? Yep, especially considering that the equipment's all going to need repair over time. Mm-hmm. Lest fires start. I have only one word to say to you today. Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be worn at all times. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Take heed, dear listeners. Wait, how, how do I put trousers defend against knobbly knees? They, they defend against their uh, perceivability. Yes, but if they can't be seen, then their existence doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> still knees are, yet, um, still, their presence 
remains like symptomatic of an issue. <laughs> no, not really. I think you're misunderstanding what knobbly knees are. Perhaps I am. It's just some people have knees that look. They're shaped funny. Not in any way that is that uh, inhibits their their functionality. <coughs> Oh yeah, someone suggested host, uh, Nickelodeon hosting the presidential debates. Just like, you know, if uh, they interrupt someone, slime them. If they go over time, temple guards come out. Uh, what, was, what was the last one? Answer a completely different question. Agro Agro crack. Crack. Yeah. <laughs> Play his temple cards from Legend of the Hidden Temple. Mm hmm. And just drag people away from microphones. <laughs>
that I could use don't really seem to be as space efficient as these, like, columns, you know. There's, there's probably a reason that most real bathrooms are arranged like that. them so that they're flush with the adjacent rooms. <laughs> that was not intentional. Wow. <laughs> Why not try a fractal bathroom? It's the same distance uh, from every stall to the Like one says, slash expensive money. Yeah, probably. That's true. Oh, Which... Plumbing isn't really a concern here, so I suppose I could try something else without, uh, yeah. And you don't need to, I just like watching it happen. Right. Turn down the music volume and so from there just by uh, by comparison it'll be louder. The uh the the uh the intercom lady. Is that her name? I guess. Okay, there's nothing else. Okay. They haven't secretly added new tracks and just not put them in the rotation. Because that, that, that's, that's totally what happened with, uh, with all of the later 
additions from Fish Whispers through the Urban Electric. <coughs> Mm hmm. Nice. Or, yeah, create a new music pack. Mm -hmm. My says, Yeah. Yeah, speakers is also a word that could be used for that. Right. The intercom. When I was searching for the word intercom. Mm. That, was a PA. that works too. Public address system. Yup. Maybe the purchase authorization? Harvest? It's in the same, uh, like, 
family as iron, right? I don't remember. Bitter Clay might have that, but it looks like that raptor. Yep, and nickel as well. into the corner as I can. So it's out of the way. Oh yeah, like absolutely not at all. Cobalt is one heavier than iron. Oh. And nickel is one heavier than cobalt. Well then. Next up is copper and then zinc. Come back, zinc. in the transition part of the table. read that. It says, yet to master cursive. My brain added an E. Cursive? No? Cursive. No. Yeah, is it Easter cursive? Yeet to master cursive. Chuck him across the room. <laughs> and then suddenly you can write in cursive. Bad combos. Archie Riggle, unhygienic and weak bladder. Let, let me get. Bladder. Let me guess in what way he's unhygienic. Hey, please, I'm very well. 
this guy is motivated and thinks his life is a rom-com. You're hangry and unmotivated. I will probably hire Monty Rowe. In just a minute. Treatment nurses appear to be looking for work, although there's also some rooms looking for nurses to work them, so it could just be because I've moved things around so much and they've just yet to find the place they need to be, because I haven't unpaused it. That's good. Let's get a third uh, injector. Pharmacists are Randy Widowmakers. Hold on, I'm going to. Oh, hey. Okay. Gubbins. Trying to think of something, but the, uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky. Leaving the cafeteria and forget just losing the food that they got. It goes poof. No food for you. Oh man, 
that one guy disappeared. Oh, well, I wonder if that one glitch for someone gets like a cafeteria tray glued to their arm. <laughs> that, that was a weird glitch. Emperor Complex. One of our county's better medical destinations. Your 20 patients, don't mind if I do. Jonathan Tart, unhygienic. Read Charlatine Fish Rapper at the Two Point Squabbler and Two Point Squabbler Online for great stories and perspective from a human just like you. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Steve says, What is happening, my fellow mirrors? Hey, Steve. Do what dance? Uh, C H E R A T dance. Grat? It, it's a spasm emote kind of You know, from the Twunch Zones. Mm hmm. Spasmote. Out of the Twunch Vines. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> it's an emote from Sheratomo's channel. Okay, turkey. Janitor. 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 Janitor.
I haven't said it yet, but I will. Do that cheeseburger news for you. It's fine. <laughs> challenge uh, one of the things that there's a queue outside of a pharmacy maybe you should build another one no you probably just have a nurse on right uh it's well one of them is currently under upgrades so that's slowing it down but you've got to upgrade the widow makers that way they make less widows mm -hmm. it's important new illness gubris discovered <laughs> excessive <laughs> gubris Excessive self-indulgence has led to a buildup of materialized self-worth, blocking the sufferer's internal systems and making them insufferable to be around. The slime must be removed from their system and their general vibe for everyone's sake. We'll send the patient for treatment in our surgery. Ew, they gotta remove the goo. that she'd offered to make Steve dinner to show appreciation, but she's a good associate of license on me. This is Ricky Hawthorne <laughs> on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio, and I know you've missed me just as much as I've missed you, so don't move that dial. See, my, my brain went to the the entirely different. Don't touch that dial. It's got jam on it. Tokyo's number one music station. Jam on it. Tokyo Winter FM. Yeah, uh, Ben Folds did some, uh, like, uh, spots for a, uh, a Tokyo radio station. That's how you. That's how you get them. If you think that you need ants, you are probably incorrect. Next. 
I should probably improve my surgeons. You should make them better. <laughs> I will improve two of them at once so the third can keep going. <laughs> More ghosts. I got handed a leaflet about the Orb Foundation one morning last week. What an absolutely lovely bunch of people, I thought to myself, and not at all like a cult. You'll never guess what happened next. Tartan Telomeres. A group of DNA patients were kicked out of a jumbo hospital for not buying enough merchandise. Patients for DNA. <coughs> I don't think I've ever had to get that high. Of course, I don't think I've ever paid my staff this well either. Yeah, they're all quite well paid. <laughs> mm hmm. And I mean, of course they are the way the money's rolling in right now. You can afford to make a whole freaking building into a staff room. Mm hmm. I mean, but part of me wanted to do that with this little building here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just got spooked by the cat in the box. There's a cat in the box. We do not have too many janitors. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Oop, and that person just died in the bathroom. Like Elvis. Oh no! High energy and will work for peanuts. Absolutely. Ooh. High energy is especially great for board nurses. Give you a big raise. <coughs> And now the news. A gang of thieves is terrorizing the county with over a dozen break-ins reported in the past month. Police say the criminals are mostly interested in used, cheap plastic pens. So, if you're ever looking for a pen and can't find one, you may be one of the unfortunate victims. Kids these 
technically could, but no. <laughs> you have to like refuel in orbit. surgeon would probably not be a bad idea. I was telling you about the mysterious Orb Foundation. Well, after being handed a leaflet, I was approached by one of its senior members. I, of course, told them I was very interested in joining their secretive and bizarre organization, and an interview was set up for the very next day. And I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Maintenance required in injection oil. Maintenance is already there. We already have a DJ that shills for Jumbo. We don't need one as part of the orb cult. Uh, the main story of this game is like the county taken over by Mega. Three staff. Easily done. Especially in the 180 days it gives me. Before you know it, three to two more times gonna go for the Yay, seven out of seven. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> we still don't find the very stupid but effective strategy of putting too many computers in the science lab and cooling them with pineapples. Mm hmm. Wow, I somehow misread that as Samurai warning. Oh shoot! Look out! A rival dojo! <laughs> More like a, a rival Bukyo? Considering how well, like, how unclogged the whole thing is, the whole system is, I'm going to raise my threshold for treatment. That will ensure that, uh, that will ensure that fewer people suffer from failed treatments. I'm not even sure I understand what you're trying to describe. We all have our differences, don't we? Morning people. Mm -hmm. Night elves. Right. Right, that much I got. I just... It's the, what, what you're... We come in all manner of wonderful flavors. But gubbins... Gubbins come in just one. Cheesy gubbins. There are some things that we can all agree on. More two-point. More often. 
This is Two Point Radio. And so the, the fake image of what it thought was on screen before I glanced up was wrong. <laughs> Nice trade, Rain, but I can't award you any points for that. May God have mercy on your soul. I don't think that's possible. Captured Sebastian Chunder. Not Sebastian. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. You're not Alexander. Emergency. There's been an outbreak of Barking Mad in the area after the Sleep Easy playlist on Bungle Music mistakenly added Who's a Good Boy? You're a Good Boy, a popular canine training, training guide voiced by Roderick Cushion. There are a group of indoctrinated but well-trained dog people looking for treatment. <laughs> Send them over, but I'm going to want to build a second <clears throat> There's an article in the Daily Sneer today accusing Bongle Tech of toying with nature and of employing far more mad scientists than the national average. Well, I for one think it's about time mad scientists had some place they can call home. Barking mad patients arriving at the hospital. <laughs> Oh. 
bored nurses. Big potato difference. Okay. Uh huh. I actually lost money that month. Did you actually lose money or did you just like spend money? I think I just spent money. I almost said I I, I almost said spun money instead. <laughs> To continue my tale about the Orb Foundation, I'm pleased to say my interview went very well indeed. I was booked in for my indoctrination, where I would finally learn all about the greatness of the Orb and get my own set of robes. But then came an unexpected twist. Stay tuned to find out what it was. Okay. Uh, I'm setting her on diagnosis rooms right now because she can't really do any harm there but I am going to train her to be a treatment nurse that's Amelia Fool help me remember that although actually really any any nurse with no skills I can just remember is supposed to be treatment Probably, unless I find one with healing hands, in which case, you know. Okay, so you're training a million to be a nurse. Yes. I'm not sure what he said yesterday, I'm pretty sure you gave the name Amelia Fool. Yep. I mean, that, that name would also suit Amelia Bedelia, so you know. Four cafe. What level is it right? Well, of course, it's three. Now, how should I go about getting four cafe? Does that mean people can finally sit down? Uh, oof. I I need to go record my life again. Would Would you mind decorating the cafe? Trying to get it to level four. Mm. Thank you.
What do you feel the walls aren't, tight, aren't tall enough for you to put anything on the walls? That's interesting. <laughs> Amelia Watson. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what's known as in the business as a bad idea. can annoy the servers by hitting the gong. <laughs>
<laughs> there we go. That's reasonable. This is fine. It's fine. Anything Mission accomplished. <laughs> Dergs? <laughs> Is that how Amelia says drugs? When she pulls out those terrible syringes full of, um, something? Reaching out to inappropriately touch her assistant. Ooh, cake. Beatrice Hoofalum. Now that's a word. Or a name. Get the mix raise. Not enough doctologists operate in the X-ray machine. What did you do? <laughs> I had more seating. <laughs> what? Why though? There, there's a gong for annoying the um, 
the operator. Those statues are having a conversation, don't worry about it. Yeah. Also, like, click the floor. <coughs> Who can use? I got it all the hell the way up to level 5 accident. Nice! <laughs> and then I ruined the floor. That oh, is hard to, to look, look at. It does. <laughs> I'm... Fussboden mosaic kill. Snowbees. There's the default. I could change it to something else, though. I like chips. I mean, that might be good for research. Of course, I like chips. That looks good. Yeah, that looks like, uh... Thomas Dockers has contributed to today's inspirational quote. There's nothing you can't do with troops. sufficient determination except make yourself invisible. That requires magic or some kind of you know, super like futuristic technology. You're probably right, Thomas. <laughs> You're probably right. You know, like a crap ton of needless wicker chairs. <laughs> I mean, there's probably better ways to... Plus, those will totally F with the, the pathing of people trying to get to the, the tables. Eh, they might, they might. Oh yeah, I also had a like, little fish globe next to the fish tanks. Mm. Flanking the bank of the tanks. Some tank bank flanking. Advocate for 
for the Bigfoot Foundation, Bartholomew F. Yeti, is working on a play for the Pointy Mountain Theater and Badminton Company, and wants to test out some of the dialogue on real breathing people. He's asked if he could come for a visit. Fast
They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the, the world Paralyzed needs Dance. a hero, a hero must put on his mm -hmm. spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, A Stretch Too Far. This is Two Point Radio. Alas, my Orb Foundation adventure did not have a happy ending, and you'll never guess why. They kicked me out for being too negative a person. Who would have thought it? Took away my robes and everything. Oh well, life goes on as they say, and so does our radio show.
belongs to the food itself. <laughs> Okay, money is actually gradually declining on its own, it seems. I heard Cafe Radar. matures, you're, you're paying for a lot of five-star Zaf. Probably. That starts to really chew on cash. Although I don't actually have a lot of five-star stuff. In fact, I don't... I have one five-star employee. You're listening to Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. This is Harrison Wolf. Two Point Radio is voice of reason. I'm supposed to tell you we have a great show for you today, but how do I know? We haven't made it yet. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so six total. Well, as your staff levels update, right? Bartholomew F. Yeti has sent us a handwritten note to thank us for hosting him recently. He said that we've totally exceeded his expectations. It's good that he's pleased, but did he not expect did he not expect us to do well? We've been sent a grant by the Bigfoot Foundation, are being featured on their website, and Mr. Yeti is apparently writing a poem in our honor. Let's see. 90 days is the target, which will definitely happen. the supernatural underbelly of Two Point County. As an example, last night, I saw what looked like a zombie squirrel in a tree by my house. So do call if you've experienced your own paranormal encounter. A fear shared is a fear half. Patients arriving for the fracture.
profit, just shy of 5,000. If I can just hover like that, I'll be fine. I don't need to turn a huge profit. I just need to be able to pay my staff. who works nights in the Crockle Bay days. branch of Roach Burgers, has called in to tell us about his recent spooky experiences. Scratchy sounds behind the walls, burger buns walking across the floor, and an unearthly smell are just some of the phenomena he's seen. And nothing to do with the fast food joint standards of hygiene, I'm sure. There's 600 patients, and the cure rate will whipple up pretty quickly on its own, I'm sure. Nurse to general diagnosis. Yeah. When you know it fluctuates. There we go. Achievement unlocked, the new gold standard. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Well, you've done it. You've completed this monstrous corruption of our county's past in the name of supposed progress. I overheard one of my subordinates remark that the castle has reached, through your hospital, the lofty heights of its yesteryear once again. The patient and amusing idiocy, or the patent and amusing idiocy of this remark gave me some respite from the pain, if only for a sweet fleeting moment. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. Ooze Tank. Yeah, what's that do? Probably just decoration. Collect, okay, trade, and snack with Morsel Man. Awesome. Who will you find? Little Susie Salt. <laughs> Bacon Dad. The Reverend Cheddar. Can I get an amen? Amen. Morsel Man. A handful of flavor. A mouthful of fun. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. 
Provides entertainment. I guess it's for a specific room. Huh. Maybe the reservation? That's what I was thinking. Yay. Six out of six. Six out of six. No, will that's full. Like it. Everyone needs a place to keep their ooze. This can be yours. Increases attractiveness and prestige. Sure. These rooms are looking a little barren. Friend of the show and fellow paranormal enthusiast Brian Cabbage says he has proof of large mutant lizards living in the meltdowns. Hey, sounds plausible to me. Not so sure about the lasers shooting out of their eyes though, Brian. Laser lizards. Lizards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since we still have some time left, I'm just going to keep on improving this place. I think. Lizard amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. It makes the lizards bigger. <laughs> well, like he said, giant mutant lizards. <laughs> Stimulated emission of radiation, amplifying the lizards. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. For some definition of sense. Are lizards in face though? I don't know. Like if I aim a bunch of the lizards at like a wall, will they hit the wall on a distribution approximating a merry disc? A what disc? Harry? Harry? Yeah. Are, are we turning into yeah, uh, a, guinea pigs? It's a pattern lasers, mate. Harry? 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 Yeah, the big old hairy lizard. Yeah, I exactly a disc, but that's a pattern to Harry. And there are weird mathematical reasons for why I like this. Hmm. Like one says, ooze tank. From the name, you'd think it contains ooze. You'd be right. But it also has treads. Dreads? Treads. Treads. It was like, it has dreads? school called an earlier to say that campus may be the most haunted place in the county. They report seeing classroom skeletons dancing, strange colors floating in the air, and walls seeming to melt. Let's just remember these are medical students with access to some very interesting substances. Clint Broccoli. Clint Broccoli. Yeah, 
Folks, the strange object has been hovering over Duckworth upon Bilge. UFO enthusiasts are flocking to the scene, though there's a good chance it's just a noxious cloud of gas spewed by the local factories. Anyway, I still say it's time to panic. Achieved here fifty thousand patients. Doctor needed in DNA lab. Ring, 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 ring. Banana. Oh. Well, I, I wasn't going to do that this week. I was just going to finish out the fi finish out the time slot here, and then next week uh, play something spooky. Where is Doctor Bruce Carpet? Jumbo McNally, the greatest business leader in the world, will be presenting Jumbo's latest slate of minor upgrades at this week's Jumbo Expo. Buy your tickets now, and don't forget to bring your credit cards. This is Two Point Radio. Monster Mishmash Emergency. 
There's been an outbreak of Monster Mishmash in the area after viewers at a test screening of an upcoming and provocative horror film felt an uncomfortable amount of empathy with its hideous creature. There's a group of entertained people quite quietly questioning everything, looking for treatment. Patients arriving with Monster <laughs> Mishmash. Stuffage, the strict librarian of the Lower Bullocks County Library, has raised some eyebrows after claiming the building is haunted. According to Miss Stuffage, the ghost of her predecessor comes in every night and reclassifies books by an outdated system. Spooky stuff indeed. take so long to uh, get to the class, like the whole rest of the class finished already, and he hasn't even walked in yet. Maybe. Film star and ally to the mole people, Roderick Cushion is in the area for undisclosed tax purposes. His agents say that he's feeling morally dirty and have asked whether we'd host him for a visit to get him feeling nice and ethically upstanding again. I mean, probably.
says he's looking for work. Ready for bland music and banal banter? Then you're in luck because I'm Ricky Hawthorne and you're listening to Two Point Radio. <laughs> well, that was everything. Mm hmm. Both self and employer. <laughs> GP's office. It's broken there. Maybe. Someone pissed. And they were like equidistant from two different bathrooms. And almost a third. Maybe they, maybe they got hit with choice paralysis. It's like, oh god, which bathroom do I go to? I don't know which one is going to be more full. Oh, too late.
cheesier. Cure 80 patients in 90 days. Ooh, that could be hard. She is asking for a challenge. They get sued out of existence. And they sell it for. They sell 10 for bills, their best offer for 180 bucks. Oh. And it's, it's one of those places. Uh, so what's included? Space Force $2 bill. Display holder. Love on it. Certificate of authenticity. They don't get spent much. We're in the mood for romance here on Two Point Radio. So if you have a request you'd like to dedicate to your significant other, well, perhaps you should call them something nicer than significant other. But also, tell us how you met and what song you'd like us to play. Averaging almost one cure per day. Definitely think we're going to make it. Um, oh, now we're doing better than one. 
like here per day. So it will happen all at once. Seven days for eighty cures. Woo! Did it. Barely did it. Really, but did it. Yeah, did it with about two weeks to spare. Oh, I thought I only had eighty. No, ninety days. Eighty cures. you think of like a kind of tooth decay you get from active directory <laughs> <laughs> ad carries <laughs> how does that spell for copying an item again i forgot uh hold control when you click it chilly over there where the scientists actually are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Suppose I could move this, like, over here. So they're a bit more comfortable. It's only chilly by the door. Hmm, that makes it a little too warm in the workspace. 
Mildred Shears has called in to request the next song for her husband, Clarence. They met seven years ago on a cruise ship that sailed from Hogsport and landed at Crockle Bay 40 minutes later. Plenty of time for love to blossom, as well as dysentery. <laughs> Injections emergency. Four patients, three injection rooms. Done. Patients for injection room arriving. Although I think I actually only have two injection nurses. Thinking for yourself. Hmm. Wish you could donate all your money. Aha! Join the Orb Foundation today. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. Training course complete. Class dismissed.
know, having a cupboard in the Pan's lab makes sense. I'll add some gold star rewards behind them. And there we go. Again. Be right back. Could you watch for fires? Okay, I got some beat up toilets, uh, a lot of garbage, a ghost for some reason. X ray machine can probably use repair in due time and so can the This next song is dedicated to Allison from her boyfriend, Freddy Cheddar. They met last week while doing community service, picking up litter at Grog Ben's ring, and have pledged to love each other forever. Let's try to make it to the two-week anniversary first, Freddy. <laughs> oh, yeah.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Jenny Rumblebug would like to dedicate this next song to Cassie, whom she met two years ago during a skiing weekend in Underluke, in which they discovered neither of them like skiing, snow or mountains. Two kindred spirits indeed. Might have been heavy had might have been arguing. Ah. Ah. I think it's because I just sent some guys to training. If patients please use the toilets provided. So the distances? Mm-hmm. Equaling both of them on separate staffing <laughs> Here comes two more in. That'll take care of it in short order. And here comes a fourth. Okay, three out of four patients with a mechanic. Energy, great with napkins. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with him as I did earlier with uh, Amelia Fool. Except instead of just uh, straight up treatment nurse, I'm going to train him in uh, injection. Stabbing nurse.
Norm has called in to request this next song for his sweetheart, Aggie, to celebrate 62 years of being together. They met when they both decided to rob the same bank, after which they went on a crime spree that lasted 20 years. Not sure you want to admit that on the radio, Norm, but congratulations anyway. Mm -hmm.
Roach Burger's first drive through has opened in Crockle Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. No shenanigans, please. Recent eclipse led to widespread falling down. Oh no. Patients arriving for the fracture board. No, nothing keeps falling down. It was a, a bunch of people coming in for the fracture board because a recent eclipse led to a rash of people falling.
along with the car doors. Popstar Jasmine Odyssey is in the area filming a perhaps overly literal video for her latest single, Get to the Point and Say Summit, but it hasn't seen any locals in three days and is starting to feel lonely. Her agents have asked if we'd like to host her for a visit. Lily has requested the upcoming song for her darling Pete, who she hasn't seen for two months. Pete is currently working in a highly secret and classified government facility in the Meltdowns. Well, not so secret now, eh, Pete? Enjoy the smashing tune! VIP arriving. Please prioritize their amusement over patient well-being. We've all been there, right? Just make a toast sandwich. Not quite. I made some cinnamon raisin toast with pumpkin blotcher. Ah, one of those. Okay. I knew I smelled it. Is a there shouldn't be a fire. Oh no, it was fire. And the thing is, it's the. Good ah. thing there's already a thing in there. Hospitals up in the Pointy Mountains better watch out. We're getting news reports of a violent hailstorm in the area, and those paper-thin hospital roofs could be in trouble. On the other hand, lots of free ice for everyone. Roofs. Sir, this is a castle. Yeah, but the hailstones are still pouring in. Nope. Nope, it is just a game. 
Patients, please use the toilets provided. Five out of five. Also, let's keep a few right out there if you want to. Ooh, thank you. Surgeon Danny Thimble would like to dedicate the upcoming song to his lifelong partner Tom, an anesthesiologist. They met while performing surgery on a knobbly knee patient. And I can't think of anything more romantic than that. If you'd like up-to-date popular music and fun-loving banter, change the station because this is Two Point Radio, and I'm Harrison Wolf. It's 
I said we heard about Trey playing that yet. <laughs> Breath of the Light sounds right over his mouth. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Found out who was behind I'll be the back sometime during the week. Rock Festival dream. Oh. None other than Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm not a violent man, though, so all I did was lock him in the radio station's toilet, where I've been blasting some really loud music for the past three hours. Hope you like it, Nigel. <laughs> what did Nigel do? Uh, switched out his records. Uh, so anyway, uh, weekday afternoons when I'm able, uh, it's Holding Court where I'm playing Shadowrun Dragonfall. Uh, Thursday night, Thursday Thanatopsis, uh, where we're playing Sanitarium. Sanitarium. And then next weekend, next Saturday, something properly spooky here for Stone of Graves. Uh, I haven't decided exactly what yet, but I, I have a short list to pick from. So yeah, thanks again, and I hope to see you all next time. moment. There we go. So, yeah, thanks again. Hope to see you all next time. Good night, everybody. Good night.